Okay, this is a really specific message that I'm channeling. This is your twin flame. They're going to make a love offer in June or July. Basically, Aries, what I'm seeing here in the future is somebody's doing a complete 180 and now they want to commit to you. You too. Yeah, I'm hearing Saya Unstoppable. If you and this person come together, Aries, there's going to be no stopping y'all. Y'all got energy of reconciliation because the three of I'm hearing something about Uruguay. I also heard South Korea. Hello, Aries. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guidance read for my Aries. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. I heard the name Marissa. Okay. I heard the name Marissa. Okay, we have Aries on the side. The Tower, the Fool, the Emperor all on the side. Mars getting ready to station direct. We have Jupiter in reverse. Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Then we have number two on the side, the High Priestess on the side, Neptune getting ready to station direct, Jupiter retrograde with Jupiter upside down, you could be a life path number two, um, Knight of Chalices, and the Three of Chalices. It almost... <sighs> This is giving me an energy of reconciliation because the Three of Chalices is going to be there, the Three of Cups. I almost feel like this Knight of Chalices is giving me an energy of reconciliation. I want to see what the other cards have to say. Okay, what the other cards have to say. Magician. Wow, Magician and Knight of Chalices. Aries, somebody's really determined to have you or, or begin something with you. Five of Wands, but they're scared there's going to be drama. Okay, let, let, let's let's take this out. Let's put this Knight of Chalices out. What do we have here for Aries, Spirit? The Five of Coins. And the Moon on the side. The Moon on the side? Why? The Wheel of Fate. Oh, you're destined uh, to be with someone, or, or you have strong soul tie here to someone. It was fated for you and this individual to cross paths. This is somebody, though, that they, they ran from y'all. They ran from y'all. They put their feelings to the side. They put their feelings to the side. Five of Coin. Uh, this individual broke their own heart doing this. Somebody here always had feelings for you. Yeah, Six of Wands, Judgment, Aries. Somebody is about to do a complete 180 when it, when it comes to you and them. Okay, somebody's about to do a complete 180. Yeah, Eight of Chalices. It basically came out on a side, almost in the reverse, though. Somebody don't want you to walk away. Look, this Emperor. This is your Twin Flame, or this your uh, Soulmate, or you guys have a past life with this person. Y'all meant to be together? What's over here? Knight of Swords in the reverse. Oh, why that knight of sword, nine of swords? Wow, they can't get you. <laughs> they can't get you off of their mind. Eight of coins. What is this eight of coins, spirit? Five of wands. Okay, Aries. What I see here is you definitely have divine counterpart. Okay, 
the, for a lot of you, this is a twin flame situation that I'm picking up on. And this individual tried to fight off the feelings that they had uh, towards you. You and this individual could actually work together. Or you, it's something here about your field of work where you, the two of you are crossing paths with each other. But regardless, the uh, Knight of Swords in the reverse, this individual did not take action towards you in the past. Okay. This individual knows that they are meant for you. It's something here about you and this person. You guys are supposed to be together. Like it's something you guys are supposed to be doing together. Okay. You are a perfect match for each other. In the past, though, this individual did not take action with the Knight of Swords in reverse. They did not take action. Uh, presently, they're really struggling with their emotions. But they want to make a love offer to you with the Knight of Chalices. They're being tormented day and night. Okay? Wow, Aries. I'm telling you, this individual is desperate. Desperate for you and desperate to talk to you and dying to talk to you. Like, they have so much that they want to talk to you about. I feel like this individual fell in love with y'all. Like it was love at first sight. Queen of Wands. They find you so attractive. They find you so attractive. It's yeah, temperance. They know it's a divine connection that you guys share. I feel like this individual is like trying to protect y'all or like it's something spiritual here. Like they, they could be sending like prayers your way, like praying for you. Look, Knight of Pentacles. So they are shy when it comes to investing in connections. They, they could be a flirt, okay? Knight of Wands there. They could be a flirt, a little bit of an F-boy, F-girl, or a player. I just get this vibe here that somebody now wants to take things serious. Like, the Seven of Coins is there. The Knight of Coins is like now somebody wants to invest. And the Knight of Wands. Look, before I even shuffle the deck, the Emperor. I'm hearing something about Uruguay. I also heard South Korea. Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, somebody's about to do a 180, but they're terrified to approach you because something happened in the past. You guys did not get get started in the the right direction, so to speak. I feel like it's mainly this individual, but it, you know, it could have been some of you, right? It could have been the both of you, right? Um. Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups, this individual fears your rejection. Very much so. They very much fear your rejection. For some of you, they're terrified that there may be drama when they come in. Okay, you may have some choice words. Um, <laughs> like, this is what they're fearing. Yeah, the Hermit. Hermit with the Emperor. Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this individual the lovers this individual was scared to get into a commitment they were embarrassed about their finances so what the, basically aries what i'm saying here in the future is somebody's doing a complete 180 and now they want to commit to you okay they want to commit to you now uh for a lot of you this is your twin this is your twin flame that that's what i'm picking up here for a lot of you queen of wands yeah, th this individual finds you beautiful, handsome, stunning, knight of swords with the the ten of cups. I can't make up the energy I'm picking up on. Uh, this individual sees you as complete wish fulfillment. Like, they would have pure happiness with you. Like, that's what I'm getting here. And success. Look, I cannot make up this energy. Look at this. Look at this. Y'all see this? <laughs> Look at this. King and Queen of Wands. Literally. And then you have the Temperance. And the Magician. You guys are power couple. If you two... Yeah, I'm hearing Saya unstoppable. If you and this person come together, Aries. There's going to be no stopping y'all. Y'all going to be unstoppable. It's about to be a complete...
is about to be a complete 180. I feel like there could even be a proposal or something. Finances. So this individual struggling with their money. Divine timing. This individual has been struggling with their money and they just feel like they've been going around in a cycle. Okay, when it comes to their finances. You could actually hold the key to this person's financial success, Aries. Love offer. Look, that's why they've been holding back making a love offer. But this is what I'm saying. There's about to be a love offer. Yeah, look, alien, the past, the, the y'all have past life. Look, and there's the flame, the unseen, renewal is there. This is your twin flame making a love offer to y'all. Okay, this is a really specific message. That I'm channeling this is your twin flame. They're gonna make a love offer in June or July. Okay, in June or July, there's gonna be a love offer here. Yeah, round and around this individual. My ring keeps falling out. So I apologize for that, y'all. <laughs> yeah, round and around leadership. This individual is they're they're just obsessed with y'all. They're obsessed with y'all. And no matter how many times they try not to think about you guys, like they can't stop. They can't stop thinking about y'all. Yeah, some of you could be disappointed with how things uh, went with this person, but you know what happens. That's life, you know. Yeah, you could have been disappointed with some of the stuff you heard, some of the stuff you learned about this individual. You could have seen some stuff on the phone, okay, but... This individual is coming back, and they're going to make a serious offer here to commit to y'all. The thing is, mountain is there, and the hidden. Can you trust this person? Some of you feel like you can't trust this person. For others, you, you may feel like they have a hidden agenda, or you feel like they need to prove with their actions that they can be trusted. Hmm. Almost feel like it's a, it's a test. Yeah, key, but they, they feel like they feel like you have the key to their heart. They're going through a change. It's been tumultuous. I do see that here. It's been tumultuous. It's something here about like ancient aliens. Ancient aliens, the TV show. This individual could be binge watching ancient aliens, the TV show. I also heard something about Martha Stewart. Like somebody is a huge Martha Stewart fan or, or somebody gets like all the Martha Stewart pots and pans, kitchen accessories. That's what I'm getting. Somebody loves to shop at Macy's too. Or somebody just shopped at Macy's the other day. Okay, what do we have here for Aries? What do we have? Toxic relationship. Grass is greener. Oh, so this individual was with a, a third party. They were dealing with a karmic. That's why they ghosted y'all. But that, that I feel like that situation is over. Mm. Unfinished business. I can't make it up. Unfinished business. Family. Secret crush. This individual is in love with y'all. They want to get married and settle down with you guys. And you know, is it really a secret crush? I feel like everybody in town knows this person is in love with y'all. <laughs> they are praying to God that you're single because they have all these feelings. And look, you see, some of you, this is somebody that you have a lot of history with. Mm. But you, y'all see it right here. Unfinished business. It's not over. Patterns back and forth. Baggage. This individual is not finished with y'all. And they're about to do a 180 because they want to have this with you. This individual wants to settle down. This is what I'm saying. They want to settle down. They're doing a complete 180. They could have wanted to live a single life. 
and you know maybe they were dealing with an ex-lover an ex of theirs right and you know these two were going around the boogie around doing the boogie round <laughs> i don't even know what that is i just cringed really bad but no seriously they could have been just going around and effing around and and just bsing you know you know how it, how it goes when you're you're with your ex nothing really changes when you're with your ex and they're a karmic you just bs make love drive around eat fast food like it, it just it's a huge waste of time like there's no spiritual growth or or, or sh change or shift in that it's it's just the same thing so this individual kept dealing with their ex they could have kept dealing with some third parties as well then they could have gotten into a relationship back with this person and then they ghosted y'all but you see the grass was not greener that was a toxic relationship that was a toxic relationship. So now they're coming back. They're coming back. They they feel like they got unfinished business. And it seems to me like you guys are going to get together. I mean, if I'm reading this energy correctly, y'all supposed to be together this lifetime. So it seems to me like that's about to happen. Y'all about to come into a union. You and your twin flame or your high level soulmate. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.